Hey guys, I'm gonna do a binder and packer review. I got my binder. It's originally from Underworks. It's a 997 double front compression. Uh, on the picture on Underworks, it says that it comes down to your thigh, but really this one only comes up to my hip. I didn't get it from Underworks. I got it from a different website, but the website said Underworks 997. So uh, I just got it from that website because it was cheaper. Um, that might have something to do with the length and stuff. So. Uh, it rolls up during the day, like when I'm walking through school and stuff. I'll go into the bathroom and have to fix it. <coughs> but that's about the only problem I've heard. Some guys talk about how, like, right here and, like, under the arm cut into them. It hasn't happened for me. Uh, the first time I put it on, my mom brought it to me, and I put it on right away. And it was hard to put on at first because I didn't really know how to put it on. I didn't know if I was going to have to just pull it over or step into it or what. Uh, I do step into mine because that's the easiest way I've found to put it on. Um, getting it off, I if I'm by myself, I just pull it down. If I'm if in dramas with me, which it, she usually is because I live with her, um, I just, she helps me take it off. And uh, my packer I got from Early to Bed. It has they have a tab that says FTM products, and it's the auto. Um, which is basically the off-brand version of Mr. Bindi. And I made my harness because I didn't want to buy one. Uh, the binder was 20 bucks, with shipping was like 27. Um, my packer was 18. Um, it bends, so like if I'm walking through school or something and it like I move the wrong way or something, it'll bend, and be all crazy and stuff. And I'll have to go to the bathroom and fix it, but, um, the rod in the middle of it's about my only problem, because it was down here whenever I first got it, and now from use and such, it has moved up, and it comes to the tip now, which is okay, because I got a new one, but, um, I am going to take this one and cut a hole in it, take the rod out, put tubing in it, and make it into an STP. Um, that way I can use this one for packing whenever I'm in school and stuff, and, um, I can use the other one for whatever, whenever I'm just going somewhere. And, uh, other than that, um, the harness I made, it's just an O-ring with my, a pair of old boxers. I took the strap off the top. Right now it's just safety pinned onto the oven. Um, I don't really know, because now that I look at it, I thought it was from my harness, which it still might be, but I don't know really what it's from. I usually have a sock on here to keep it from sticking and feeling weird. Um, but right here, there's a tear and right here on the side. I don't really know what that's from now because I thought it was from the harness, but the harness actually stops right here, so um, I don't really know. Um, and whenever it came in the package, it was already dented in on both sides right here from the package being dented. They clean it. But, uh, I've also noticed that because I have a pair of really dark jeans, and um, whenever I wear those, for some reason, I guess like the color rubs off on it, and if you can't tell it now because I washed it, but um, it was blue, like right here from my jeans, and like down here. So, um,. It's actually very realistic, I guess. I don't really know what an actual penis looks like. So, um, it's got like the veins and stuff in it, but, um, yeah, it, it works well. Um, 